subscribe to mastermind channel and click the bell icon to get the latest updates of our videos so hi guys this is barsha and you're watching mastermind so friends today was your english language icc board examinations how was it was it really good or was it average do comment us in the comment section below so friends now i'll not be wasting much of your time i will not make i'll not let my video go too lengthy so friends today we are going to discuss some of the important things from your for your english literature that is english paper 2 you have your english literature on monday that is 25 february 2019 so friends now uh, you are getting 2 to 3 days including today you are getting 3 days so it is not possible for you you have to study treasure trove you have to study drama and poetry and prose both the sections it is not possible for you to get into details for drama each and everything much it offends it is not possible for you so friends now we are going to discuss some of the important scenes and acts which are important so friends you must be thorough with all the suitors in order and correct sequence in correct order and correct sequence who comes to visit portia in order to woo portia so friends let us do a quick recap it will be much beneficial to you if you look, uh, if you have a quick recap so let us do a quick recap first the first suitor who comes to visit portia is the neapolitan prince he is a prince from naples he is he talks nothing but he talks only about his horse he is crazy about his horse and he considers it as his own merit that he can sh shoe his own horse second is county palatine county palatine he is from germany he is a man who portia fears that he will become a mad philosopher sad philosopher when he grows up because he hears good stories without a smile on his face so portia fears that he will become a mad not mad he will become a sad philosopher when he grows old and Portia says that she will rather marry to a dead skull with a bone on his in his mouth rather than marrying this person that is County Palatine. Third is the Monsieur Lebon. He is a French lord, and his name is Monsieur Lebon. Now this suitor that is Monsieur Lebon, he is from France, and he is more worse than the other previous two that is. the neapolitan prince and the county palatine he is so foolish that he draws a sword in his own shadow he is a man who has the personal who has the characteristics of everyone else's but no personality of his own portia says that she will uh, if she will marry him that is the monsieur lebon she will rather marry 20 husbands because he has everybody else's characteristics but no personality no personality of his own now there is a bird common english bird that uh, the name of that bird is the throstle now if this bird even if 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 this bird sings then this man that is monsieur lebon he starts jumping up and down he is even scared of the voice of this bird and he has everybody everybody else's characteristics but no personality of his own and he talks more about his horse than the neapolitan prince and he is more exaggerated than the county palatine and portia says that she will marry 20 husbands if she will marry him and portia says also says that if he will hate her then she will forgive him but if he will love her madly then she is never going to return his love now the next suitor that comes to who portia after this third person the third suitor that is monsieur de bon is none other than the falcon bridge now this is again a very rare person because portia tells that neither this person understands portia nor she understands him this is so because of the lack of communication between them lack of communication between them this person that is falcon bridge he is a young baron from england and he neither knows french nor italian nor nor latin he is a proper man speak 
picture, Portia says that he is a proper man's picture because he is good looking. But what is the use when there is no communication between? And uh, Portia says also says that how oddly he is suited because of the costume. He bought his jacket from Italy, his trousers from France, and his cap from Germany, and his behavior from somewhere else. Now, next person, next suitor who comes after this uh, suitor is uh, the Scottish Lord. He is a suitor from Scotland. Now, this person once he had received a blow from the Englishman, and he could he was not able to pay it back. So he promised Englishman that he will uh, return it whenever he was able to in his life. After that comes the Duke of Saxony's nephew. He is all of you know about this. This person he is a drunkard person, and Portia says to Nerissa to place a glass of Rhenish wine. Rhenish is an expensive wine in the contrary casket, that is wrong casket, so that this person will choose. Even if the devil is inside the casket, he will choose the wrong casket, and. Portia will be able to save herself from this scene. And after this person, we see that Morocco comes later. He is a man of dark complexion. You must have read. He is a man of dark complexion, and he is very boast. Uh, he is a very boastful person. He always boasts about himself, and he says that his blood is red in color, and it is an honor for him. And uh, Morocco later, we see that Morocco later chooses the golden casket. Where he does not find Portia's portrait, but he finds a dead scroll. He finds a dead skull and a written scroll, which reads that all that glitters is not gold. So, friends, after this, we have the quality of mercy speech, which is given by Portia in the court. In the court. So, this is also important. It has been repeated, uh, repeated twice in the board exams. Past ten years board papers, you can go through. This question was there twice. So friends, this is important. Quality of mercy speech by Portia. I'll just give you a gist of it. Quality of mercy. The quality of mercy is twice blessed. It blesses those who shows mercy and those who receives them. It is twice blessed. And this quality of mercy suits a king more than his crown. After this, you must go through the Morocco's uh, Morocco speech, which says, "Mislike me not for my complexion." This is the shadow delivery of the burning sun. This also you need to go through, and you need to know who is Phoebus. Uh, he was a god, some god. You need to go through all that meanings of the Greek gods and goddesses. Not only gods and goddesses, other Greek mythologies. You need to go through that. And friends, when Bassanio chooses the correct casket, that is lead casket, that scene is also important. You must go through. And then when uh, Jessica and Lorenzo they talk about the Thisbe, about Thisbe, Dido, and all. You need to go through that. That is important. And friends, uh, now from your treasure trove, uh, you need to go through each and every poetry and prose section. You need to go through that, and uh, you know that uh, you are going to, you are uh, like in your board exams, you will be provided with the uh, the person, uh, the poet of that. Story. Suppose if you get extracts from a story or from a poetry, you will be mentioned about the author's name. But still, you must go through it because there are sometimes question may be asked without. Uh, suppose an extract will be taken from your book and it will be given, and you will not be given the author's name. So please go through the author's name too. You sh- you must not take any risk. And friends, one thing that I forgot to mention is that when you are giving your English literature board exams, you must be uh, you must be writing the answers in a good uh, like your answers should be properly framed, good answers. You cannot be just beating around the bush. You need to write proper answer for each and everything. So friends, I don't want to make my video too lengthy, so I end here. Hope you all do well in your exams. Do well. Do properly read the question paper thoroughly. Uh, when the fifteen minutes is provided to you for reading the question paper, do well and when you are giving your exams, concentrate. There is a lack of concentration can also be a reason when you study everything, you know everything, but you are not able to present yourself. You are not able to write the answers. So concentrate and do not take too much of stress. Too much of stress is also not good for you.
So all the best, do well, thanks. And if you like this video, then please do give the thumbs up. Thank you.